Well, hello, Dolly. back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn yourself into Tiffany from Bride of Chucky. This is also in honor of the new Chucky TV series that they are releasing. I've already done a Chucky makeup tutorial, so I'll have that linked down below for you guys. So I thought, you know what? It's time to do the Bride of Chucky. Also, if you haven't already, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm doing a huge Halloween giveaway at the end of the month, and you can enter throughout every single video throughout the month of October. I'm uploading a new makeup tutorial every weekday for the entire month, and I want to say a big thank you for all of your support. This is my fifth year doing Halloween makeup here on YouTube, so I will have my Halloween playlist linked down below for you guys as well to check out, but I just want to thank you, so make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can enter in that giveaway. So anyways, with all that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can turn yourself into Tiffany, then just keep watching. guys, so to get started, I'm going to be going ahead and popping in some light blue contact lenses, and then I'm going to be moving on to gluing down my eyebrows. If you haven't seen any of my tutorials before, basically you're just going to be taking a spoolie and going ahead and brushing out your eyebrow hairs before taking a glue stick and then brushing that upwards through your brow hairs, making sure to flatten it while it is still tacky, and then you want to go ahead and set that with some translucent powder. I'm using the Airspun brand, and then you just want to repeat these steps about two or three more times until you feel that your brows are completely flat to your face. I'm then going to be taking my Fenty Skin Sunscreen and applying that all over my face because I really love how moisturizing this is before going in with my Bulk Bunny Beauty Sheer Perfection Primer and applying this all over my face. I'm then going to be taking my Becca Cosmetics Under Eye Highlight and applying this under my eyes to help brighten them before going into my Milani Supercharged Peach Concealer and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes and onto my eyebrows. This is going to help warm up those pale areas and help conceal them a little bit as well. I'm then going back into my Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm going to be starting to go back and forth between the concealer and the powder just to try and help build up a little bit more opacity and fully conceal my eyebrows. To help blend them in a little bit more, I'm going to be going into my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in number 14 and applying this right over top of that as well and then once again going ahead and setting that. I'm then going to be taking my MAC Strobe Cream and applying this to my cheekbones. This is going to help give a nice light glow under my foundation. And for my foundation, I'm going to be taking my Anastasi Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the shade 220N and applying this all over my face with my A Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. Next, I'm going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Creamed Powder Foundation in Mocha, and I'm going to be applying this to the areas that I want to contour. So this is going to be under my cheekbones, my jaw, and bringing that down to my neck as well. And then you just want to make sure to go ahead and blend this out. I'm then going to be taking my Milani Cheek Kiss in 110 Nude Flush, and I'm going to be applying this to the apples of my cheeks, and then just going ahead and blending that out. I'm then going to be going back into my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and once again, I'm going to be using this to now highlight my face, so I'm going to be applying this under my eyes, my forehead, and on my chin, and then just making sure to blend that out before going in with my Airspun Translucent Powder to go ahead and set this. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be taking my NYX Epic Ink Liner, and I'm going to be doing my best to create one nice smooth brow. I want to try and do it in one stroke, and then I'm just going to be adding a little bit more at the tip just to kind of help angle the front of the brow a little bit. And then, of course, you can go in and touch up any areas where the line might be a little bit shaky or wobbly. For my contour, I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Shade and Light Palette, taking this contour color, and I'm going to be applying this to the same areas that I applied my cream contour. Not only is this going to help add a little bit more depth and dimension to my face, but it's also going to help set that cream contour from earlier. I'm then going to be going into this banana color from the palette, and I'm going to be applying this to the areas that I highlighted. This is going to help set that a little bit more and also give it a little bit more of a nice highlighted depth. 
I'm then going to be going into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and applying this to the tops of my cheekbones to help warm it up a little bit before going into my ColourPop Kiss and a Frog Princess Blush and I'm going to be applying that to my cheeks and definitely don't be afraid to make this pigmented because she definitely has a lot of blush. I'm then going to be going into my Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette, going into Lilac, and using this color, I'm going to be contouring my chin and my nose a little bit. So I definitely like to look at some reference photos of her doll face and definitely try and emulate that as much as possible. For my highlight, I'm going to be taking my Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter and applying this to my cheekbones. Next I want to add some dimples, so I'm going to be going back into my contour color and then just adding this to where I naturally have my dimples already. If you don't have dimples, just apply it wherever you think that you would. And then you want to go in with a darker shade and apply this to the top of your dimple to help add a little bit more dimension. I'm also going to be using these contour colors to define my chin and the areas around my mouth a little bit more as well. I'm then going to be going into my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and priming my eyelids. And then I'm going to be going into my Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette, taking lilac, and then I'm going to be applying this all over the outer corner of my eyes. And then you want to bring that down to your lower lash line as well. Following that, I'm going to be going into Bloom, and I'm going to be applying this to the outer corner of my eye and blending this in towards the inner part of my eyelid. And then once again, you also want to bring this down to your lower lash line, making sure to blend it in the middle of your eye and don't bring it in as much as you did the lilac. I'm then going to be going into Black Beach and I'm going to be patting this on to my eyelid and then slightly blending that upwards. She has a very stark smoky eye where it kind of transitions from black to pink pretty rapidly so I definitely want to try and soften that a little bit more for this look and you also want to bring this down to your lower lash line connecting it with your upper eyeshadow and then just bringing that in towards your inner corner of your eye. I'm then going to be going into grape and this is where I'm going to be trying to soften that transition a little bit bef between the black and the pink. I'm going to be doing the same thing to my lower lash line before I go in and I'm going to be taking twilight and once again I'm kind of going to be doing the same thing just softening that transition between the black and the pink to make it look a little bit more natural. And for the final transition, I'm going to be mixing Blackberry and Black Beach, and I'm just going to be softly, once again, continuing to blend the black into that pink. I'm then going to be taking my L'Oreal Silk Me Eyeliner in Charcoal, and I'm going to be tightlining my lower waterline before going into my Anastasi Beverly Hills Liquid Black Eyeliner and creating a nice, subtle cat eye on both of my eyelids. Next, I'm going to be prepping my eyelashes by curling them before going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just sweeping this through my upper and my lower eyelashes. For my false eyelashes, I'm going into my E&E &E Lashes in Cherry and just popping that on to my upper lash line. A great dupe for this that I would recommend are the Lily Lashes in Miami. I think that would look really great with this look as well. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop lip pencil in Bull Chic and I'm going to be outlining my lips before going into my ColourPop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Hermosa and I'm going to be applying this all over my lips. Then I kind of want to create a nice ombre effect so for this I'm going to be going into my KVD Beauty Witches Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and applying this to the outer portion of my lips and just blending these together. I'm then going to be going back into my NYX Epic Ink Liner and using this I'm going to be creating the beauty mark under my nose. For the Chucky tattoo, I'm going to be going into my Made You Look Body Paint in Cherry and just going ahead and outlining the heart on my chest before going into my Made You Look Body Paint in Ink and going ahead and outlining this heart. I want to add some shading so I'm going to be taking some of my Black Beach eyeshadow and just applying that to the edges of the heart and then once again I'm going to be writing Chucky right above that. And that is my completed Tiffany Bride of Chucky makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Also, if you haven't already, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month and receive all exclusive sneak peeks of upcoming Halloween characters before anybody else and it really does help support me and my channel. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.
Hey Spoops, cutting in for a minute to tell you how you can enter in my Halloween giveaway worth over $200 where one of you will be winning all of these Halloween makeup goodies. This giveaway is going on from October 1st to October 31st at midnight, aka like November 1st at midnight, like in between, that in between space, that one. So in order to enter into my giveaway, you first need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Next is to leave a comment on my 2021 Halloween makeup tutorials. My Halloween makeup tutorials that I'm going to be uploading this month, it's ideally going to be one every weekday for the entire month of October, which comes out to 21 makeup tutorials. They are the tutorials that I'm going to be selecting the winner from. And the way that I'm going to be doing it is 21 makeup tutorials. I'm going to number them one through 21 and have a random number generator select a random number between one and 21. And I'm going to select that video associated with that number and have a random comment generator select a comment from that video. You can most definitely comment on all of my videos and that gives you the best chance of entering because that way you consistently have a comment on every single video. So that way, whenever the video is picked randomly, you are definitely entered in that area. Third is you definitely need to make sure that whenever you leave a comment, this is very important, that you leave your Instagram handle tagged in the comment. I'm going to be DMing the winner through Instagram, so definitely make sure that your profile is public on Halloween, so that way I can DM you and let you know that you won. But I will need to be able to find you. If I click on your comment, I'm gonna need to be able to find you. So please leave your Instagram handles in the comments whenever you leave a comment throughout the entire month, just because I want to be able to message you and let you know that you won, because otherwise I won't really have a way to get a hold of you. And last but not least, this is unfortunately only open to US residents only. This is the first giveaway that I am doing. I would really love to open it up internationally in the future. However, because this is the first giveaway, I want to make sure that it goes well. So I'm going to leave it US only for now. And then hopefully in future giveaways, I can make it international. And because I'm not sure if I need to say this or not, no purchase is necessary in order to enter to win. And we will only be having one winner for all of these fun Halloween goodies. So I'm so excited. Once again, thank you guys so much for supporting me and back to the video.